Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica and today I want to share with you my 10 tips for cleaning a used or a pre-loved snoop. I have cleaned two of these in the past month or so and those were absolutely gross inside. So stay tuned for footage of that. But I also learned a lot and I want to share that knowledge with you. So my first tip, tip number 10, you are already doing and that is do your research. There are a number of different approaches to cleaning a snoo, including literally hanging it upside down and using a hose. And there are people like me on YouTube showing you how we did it. So I'll link my own video up above if you haven't seen that already, and I'll link other approaches down below. I think the best thing you can do is watch a bunch of these videos and see which approach or approaches is going to work best for you and your personal situation. Okay, tip number nine gather everything you need before you start. Once you've decided on approach, you really do want to gather all of your supplies together and that's so that you aren't running all over trying to find things as you're working. So for me, some of the supplies were my vacuum, my cordless drill, um, some draft baby detergent, water, and a spray bottle. And having everything ready will make this process go a lot faster. And that leads me to tip number eight, which is something to purchase buy a sweater shaver. These things cost about $10 on Amazon and I'll leave a link to the one that I purchased in the description down below. But if you're buying a used snoo, almost inevitably it will have pilling in the inside from where the Velcro uh, from the swaddles catches and one of these will take it right off. Tip number seven also involves the products that you're going to use. Remember that your baby is going to be in the snoo when you're done, so you want to avoid using harsh chemicals or products. I used mostly water or water with a little bit of vinegar to get dirt out. I did use some Dreft baby detergent to get the really stubborn stains out. And again, I will leave a link to the spray I used in the video description, um, but avoid harsh chemicals if you can. Number six, clean inside the mesh as well as the outside. Initially, when I bought my Prian's new, I was just concerned about surface dirt. I saw some dirty spots on the mesh and I wanted them gone, but very quickly I saw there was accumulated dust between the mesh and this was truly the dirtiest part of the snoo. I'll insert a video here of the two snoos that I've cleaned. Honestly, both were really gross and I'm so glad I went the extra mile and figured out how to get inside there. So if you haven't seen my first video on snoo cleaning, go and check that one out. I'll leave the link in the description and at the end of this video. All right, my tip number five has to do with cleaning between the mesh and I explained how to do that in my cleaning video. You have to pop off these little plastic clips under the mattress. I used a credit card to do that and what I want to say here is to be comfortable using some force. The noise that it makes may make you think you've broken something but you haven't so just know you can use some force and that everything will be okay. My tip number four is an obvious one, and that is protect the electronics. This is obviously a complicated and expensive machine that you have here and are working on. So while you've got water and cleaning solution, go easy on those things and make sure you're covering the speaker holes and things like that with a towel. My tip number three is to find a quiet time to do this work. If you're cleaning a snoo, then you either have kids already or you're about to have kids. And it's really important if you can to find some uninterrupted time to do that. Um, and that's just because this is doing something new. So put on some TV or your favorite podcast or your favorite YouTube and give yourself one or two hours, depending on how fast you work and how dirty your snoo is. Finally, my tip number two and my tip number one go together and they are this. Don't be scared and you can do this. If you're watching this video and others, you're gathering the knowledge that you need and just think how great you're going to feel when you're putting your baby in your nice clean snoo. So, Whatever happens, don't get discouraged. You can do this. Best of luck. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.